Here's something interesting about this Black & Decker 12 volt <coughs> cheapy <coughs> cordless drill that I bought about the battery. I bought this about five years ago used the whole thing for about 10 bucks. This battery yesterday when I pulled it out I hadn't messed with it in a while. When I pulled it out surprisingly enough it had 11 and a half volts on it. But when I plugged it into into the drill and pulled the trigger it didn't have the amperage to run the drill and so I took the batteries out these over here which was easy just these four screws clipped all the leads and thought I would make a 12 volt powered uh, battery off of a lighter socket and then last night I got to looking at these batteries and I thought well I'll just check and see if each one of these cells gets has uh, one and 0.2 volts on it or whatever and I got to looking and got this open and this one battery had broken free here and you can see right there that uh, one of these uh, little bars that connects these batteries together has burnt in two and here was the protector and right there you can see where it was burnt in two so I thought I would take my alligator clips clip that back together clipped it onto here and the battery and the unit fired up and I plugged this into the charger through alligator clips and it took a charge so now I'm going to solder a wire across there, put this battery back together and see if I have chargeable batteries and a, a unit working again. So now this makes me think I'm going to go back to my Ryobi battery, see if I can get it open and see if something like this has happened. Yeah, notice how this one here is shaved away it's a little bit narrower than these these ones here so this makes me wonder is this a fuse built in for our protection or is it a built-in self-destructing conspiracy trying to get us to buy more batteries and anybody who uses these knows how expensive these batteries can be on a Ryobi, for instance, they could be uh, about uh, $45 a piece. There we go, that's better.